The pastor suspected of bilking tens of thousands of dollars from his church now has a warrant out for his arrest. It's a hot button issue that has the Pilgrim Rest Missionary Baptist Church divided. And after today's service, police were on hand as those who support the pastor and those who do not clashed. 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks was there as well. He's back in the newsroom tonight with what happened, Leon. Larry, good evening. After a tip from a source, we were able to confirm that prosecutors have authorized a warrant against the pastor. Now, this is a truly divisive issue in that church. Those who think the pastor did it, those who think he didn't do it, and the ones who think he did it but should simply be forgiven. There's no evidence. You know, how can you take from God, you know, and use preach? We all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. He made a mistake. The opinions are as different as the colors on the window stained glass panes. His name's on the sign, but at least for now, the pastor at Pilgrim Rest Missionary Baptist Church is out. Reverend Arthur Pearson Sr., barred from being on church property at all. And in the midst of everything on a gloomy Sunday morning, the sound of vibrant worship is heard from outside the church's walls. All seems normal, that is, until the police showed up. He has destroyed our church in three and a half years. He's been misusing funds ever since he's been here. Three cruisers to keep the peace as some refused to leave, we're told, and wanted to meet among growing concern about the pastor and the missing money to the tune of more than $200,000. Investigators say he stole it, and the prosecutors were convinced to the like. They issued a warrant for his arrest. Right now, the charge is embezzling between fifty dollars and $100,000, and prosecutors say there may be more missing money and more than just the pastor involved. Some churchgoers say it's their business, not investigators. And he did wrong. I don't uphold his wrong, but I am the person to forgive. And we should make the decision. Mm -hmm. I don't think the law should be even involved in it. It's a big issue here, a longstanding church and families that have been a part of it for generations. I mean, people in my own family is mad at me, don't want to speak to me because of what I believe in. Come on, that's crazy. A line of talkers for our story, ensuring all sides are heard. Thou shalt not steal, that's one of the Tenth Commandments, ain't it? And even the pastor's mom. You're his we, mother? Yeah, I'm his mother. Okay. Have you asked him did, if he actually took the money? He didn't take no money. That's hating pastor. Pastor love all his members. Brother-in-law says he'll defend the pastor, not criminally, but on the money issues that may make their way into court. And I believe that he has a contract that allows him housing experience, housing expenses, business expenses, and a salary and a bonus. Pastor gets a bonus? And, and pastor, that's in his employment contract. Mm -hmm. He just wants to preach, teach, pray, and praise. The pastor himself, we went to him. The garage was closing as we arrived. Voices heard inside, none answering the door, though. Jesus loves you, the Pearsons, the sign says. A pastor in trouble right now, and if convicted on the charges as it stands, it could be from pulpit to prison for up to 15 years. And who knows how long it will take for the church to heal, no matter what the outcome. It was going strong until all this happened. Now, the arrest warrant has been authorized, but the pastor has not been picked up yet. Our sources tell us that that is expected to happen when the pastor turns himself in in the coming days. We'll let you know when and if that happens, and of course, we'll let you know what happens as the case progresses. In the newsroom tonight, Leon Hendricks, 24-Hour News 8.